Many of you may know the UN Foundation from its founding by Ted Turner almost nine years ago now, and we'll certainly look forward to hearing from him later this evening. I think the part of the Ted Turner UN Foundation story that's often less understood is the ethos and the approach that the Foundation has undertaken over the last several years, and sort of the viewpoint of Mr. Turner and the board that if all we did was expend his incredible gift, we surely would not have accomplished nearly what, what's, what's needed out there given the scale of the challenge. And so over the last several years, the Foundation has tried to leverage sort of a, a few very unique assets, the, the generosity of its initial founding resources from Mr. Turner, a unique relationship with the United Nations, and in particular with AMIR and the UN Fund for International Partnerships, our status as a nonprofit, as a 501c3, not as a private foundation, and institutionalizing into our work uh, proactive fundraising and partnership building capabilities to combine with the expertise of the staff we have on site and with our UN partners to say, collectively, what's the big problem? What are the big solutions that need to occur? And what are the roles that need to be undertaken by different sectors to come together to accomplish very specific large-scale goals? That in, in even making that statement reinforces the point that no one can do it alone, which is a rhetorical statement you hear time and again, but gets proven over and over and over again at increasingly larger scales as increasingly larger partnerships, some of which Synergos itself is helping to convene right now. Its Partnership for Child Nutrition is a good example of that. So with that as sort of backdrop, let me just say that I think this is really a celebration of Jin, and I think it's a celebration of an individual philanthropist who understood from day one that he could be so much more powerful and impact on the issue that he cares about through collaboration, that there's so much more he could get done collectively than he could on his own. And this whole journey of Blue Planet Run and this openness has proven that one individual philanthropist can reach scale. And that's essentially what this is now going to become. You know, when Dow Chemical announces a multi, multi-million dollar announcement of, of resources, not just to spend money on X amount of water projects in the developing world, but rather to fund a global movement and an awareness program. It's not by accident, for those of you who may or may not have seen Dow Chemical commercials lately, that it starts with water and ends with a runner. And what you will see is a very sophisticated, ever developing with greater momentum campaign that will kick off and coincide with the launch of Blue Planet Run next year, which will turn on the American public at a scale on this issue that they've never had the opportunity to be ever informed about before. Never would have happened without a partnership, taking one step back from that. If Coca-Cola didn't have the, the, the wisdom to sort of see the opportunity of Blue Planet Run and invest in Jin's ability to build a strategic plan that would enable it, himself to attract somebody or an organization like Dow, let alone the UN Foundation or the UN, who share the vision of scale and expertise, we wouldn't be sitting here today having this conversation either. So I, I appreciate the notion of, you know, the, the, the luck of us all meeting in South Africa, but I think you give yourself not nearly enough credit for understanding that there's a much bigger goal than you could accomplish on your own. And you set out from day one to do this in a, in a collaborative manner. So I think that for us, it's, a, it's an honor to be able to work with you because you know, Mr. Turner you know, has you know, a public persona and people hear about the UN Foundation, but really you know, the example that you are, you are now making happen is, is really the essence of what the whole idea behind the UN Foundation is, which is collective solutions to large-scale problems and acknowledging that every sector and every individual and organization has a role that they can play that is not in and of itself complete. So you're a great embodiment of that. Um, I think the only other comment I'd want to make, uh, if we're, unless there's going to be some questions, is also to acknowledge Synergos' bridging organizations program, because I think as you think about the scale of, a, of an effort like this, it means you need on-the-ground capacity and expertise and relationships and networks. And so you know, an example of why that program of Synergos has such value is it's able to feed into opportunities like this to help them accomplish the goals that they need in the, re in the regions. It's one thing for someone to sit up here and say, we need scale and we need expertise. It's another thing to build a global program that has a global vision and local partners. And so in organizations like those that are part of that Strength and Bridging Organizations program, those that work with the UN country offices, again, why is the UN sitting here as part of this process? Because if you seriously want to achieve progress on water at the scale that Jin's talking about, you can't not work but work with the UN with its global presence, its global scale, its expertise in countries, and its relationships with country governments, who without, you wouldn't be able to do this work in those countries. So what you see is 
an alliance behind a much larger goal than any one of these enterprises could, could do on their own. So I think I'll actually stop there and just again, you know, congratulate you, Jen, on, on what you've done and say that, you know, give yourself a little more credit, you've earned it.